I ask that we all uh, bow our heads and pray. Our Lord, God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. In your hand are power and might, so that none is able to withstand you. Did you not, our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people, Israel, and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? And they lived, and they lived in it, and they have built it for you in a sanctuary for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this house and before you. For your name is this house. And cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear and save. And now, behold the Jesus chat line. Amen. So, um, that's a small excerpt um, from uh, the Chronicles uh, 26 to 12. Um, so hello to everyone joining us at home on Montclair Public Access TV 3. Um, this is the Jesus chat line, and I'm your host, uh, Richard Burnish. Um, we've got a great show uh, planned for you today. Uh, we've got some calls. Um, we have a few songs, I think. And, um, and most importantly, uh, our lines are open. So, one five one zero three five five nine eight seven nine is the number to call to speak with our producer uh, Chad, who will take your call off the air and uh, put it forward. So, before um, we get to your calls, um, I'd just like to say uh, a big hello. Um, to everyone um, who tuned in to our last show. We had a few technical uh, glitches, didn't we, Stephen, with it? Yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, we won't have that problem no more. We have a new computer. Um, it's a, uh, and a new version of Windows. So, um, and we've also switched browsers um, from Firefox to um, Internet Explorer. So, uh, the, the, we, we, we believe we've got it fixed. <laughs> so, um, we're just going to give um, the phone lines a, a quick moment to light up, and we'll be uh, right back to answer your calls. So, um, without further ado, um, let's, okay, we'll, we'll just take a minute for the, the switchboards. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and the lines are lighting up. So we'll take our first call um, of the night. Hello, caller. You're live on the program. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll try this one here. Okay, Chad. Hello, caller. You're live on the program. Welcome to the show. Hello, Hello caller. You're live on the program. Hello. Hi. Hi, you're you're live on the air. Please turn down your uh, your television set as it as it does come through the phone. Okay. Um, hi, how are you? Well, I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, it's another sunny uh, day, I think, here in uh, in Montclair, California. Uh, how are you? I'm great. It was a great day in New York City today. Oh, excellent, excellent. That's good. That's uh, that's that's really uh, great. Yes, I'm calling in. Uh, today, because uh, I'm having a little trouble in high school. Okay, that could be a, a trying time. Uh, it's been a little while since me and Stephen have been in high school. Hey, Stephen, <laughs> it's been a little while, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're we're still fresh. So, <laughs> go go ahead. Let us uh, let's let's hear it. Well, currently I uh, go to public school after mm -hmm. a long, complicated past with private school. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm one of three white kids there. 
Um, All right. And they continuously call me, uh, I don't really want to say the word, but they call me N. Okay. And I just, I don't like it when, when they when call you, when me you N. Say, when you say N, are you, are, are you, um, you, do you mean? The N. Oh, the N word. Okay. All right. Well, all right. They call me racial remarks, and I'm, I'm kind of scared because I'm afraid they have weapons. Yeah. Do you have any prayers or anything yeah, that well, you can read? For sure. I think what you need is a prayer for protection. But have you talked to your principal? Like, have you, have you said that um, the, these, these, these students are, are being racist? And that I, you're... I'm, I can't. They don't let me. Oh, okay. Well, well, let me read you um, a prayer here on, on this, on our um, iPod here. Uh, this is David's prayer for protection. Um, Psalm number three. O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him. In God. But, O oh Lord, you are a shield about me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. So, what you need to do is you need to cry out to the Lord, and, and you, need to, you need to seek his holy hill, his holy mound. And you must climb atop it, and you must ask him for protection. Okay. Thank you. Um, you mentioned that the, you're the only... Um, so are all of the other students in the school African-American? Yes. So, and you're afraid that they have weapons, is that correct? Yes. Do you... Like, are you just... I, I mean, I'm, I'm afraid, like... They really, they keep saying to me that they're rumbling my feathers, and I'm quite scared of this. Yeah, well, I don't know what that, that really means, but I, I don't think that's something you want to take a chance with. Um, yes. I, I, I'm not one to, to promote stereotypes, but from my experience living in the Montclair area, mm -hmm. uh, black, blacks or African Americans often are trouble. They often do carry weapons. They're involved with gangs and they're involved with drugs. And, and I don't think, I don't think you want to get into that mix. Okay. Thank you. So uh, I have one more question. So just uh, another, if I make one more suggestion is I would suggest trying to find a school with more whites. Okay. Yes, that would work. Um, my final question is, do you happen to have any grapes? Do I ha um, do you have any grapes? I'm just wondering. No, no, I, no, I, no, that's a bit of a strange, no, I, uh, Stephen, do we, we don't have any grapes. Do we? No, no grapes. Blackberries. Just some blackberries um, in the fridge. No, no grapes. Well, okay. Can you put that on my pizza? Um, Would that be okay or? Okay. It's a joke. Okay. Um, hello, caller. You're you're live on the air in the Jesus Chat Line on Montclair Public Access TV three. Richard, hey, I've been a long follower mm -hmm. of the Neon Bible. Okay, that's good. And uh, I have a family of my own. Well, that sounds very nice. I have a wife, and I have two kids. And, uh, well, what seems to be the problem? Lately, I've been feeling possessed. Okay. Um, by, by just these evil forces. Well, go on, caller. What, what's, what's, what, what exactly is happening to you? I've been more aggressive at work. I've, 
I've accidentally hit my wife the other day, but I just, I just can't get it out of me. Okay, well, uh, I, I think you, you and I both know that hitting your wife is, is, is not. I know, I know. It's, I just well, why feel did like you, the devil has. Well, why did you hit her? I feel like he's controlling me sometimes. So she didn't do anything to you? It's not like she, she did anything we, we, we to We were you. arguing, but I feel it wasn't me. It was someone else. Did she, so she didn't do anything to deserve it, is what you're saying? No, it was just, it was just out of the blue. Mm -hmm. I feel like the devil. I feel like it's, I don't know. Have you been to church? Like, are you a Christian? Do you regularly go to church? Have you? I do, I do, and they haven't been any help. Okay, well, I think that you need to pray. I, I, is, I, is there any way you could perform, uh, like, an exorcism or something? I know it's not conventional to do it on the show, but... Well, I, I don't know if we could do one over... Could, Stephen, have you... Could, could you try? Could you just try? I'm just asking to give me a chance. Yeah, we have a we have a. There was a deacon that we were involved with that did try to perform an exorcism once, uh, but he was he was thrown through the wall. On on the show, in uh, in. Is. is uh, Well, we can try. Well, we can. We can definitely. Please, try. anything. All right. Well, I don't. Want, I don't. I don't want to be tormented okay. or torment my family anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds. Okay. Can you please um, remove your shirt? Uh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay. Remove All your. Right. Sh remove your shirt. Okay. And then I place did. both of your hands um, on the on your monitor. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now, if if you feel anything, I, I want you to to let me know. Okay, just let me know. All right. I'll I'll let you know. Dear Lord. Sorry, caller. What is your name? It's Kurt. Okay. Dear Lord, we ask you to remove this demon from Kurt in your name, in the son, in the name of your son, Jesus. <sighs> We ask that you remove, <coughs> remove this filth, this torment from this man's body. Remove this aggression. Ugh. Remove I can, I can his feel hate. It, Richard. Remove his anger. Well, quickly, put your hands, uh, both hands, on your chest now, caller. Okay. 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 We ask okay. that you remove the devil's grip from within his chest. <sighs> And, and, and God, we ask that you use your light to restore him. No. That you it, use your light to restore him back. It doesn't want to come out, Rich. Okay, this is it's not working. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> You'll never get me, Richard. Okay. I thought, right? I think that's a joke. Chad. I thought it's only going to get real calls. Hello. Hi, my name is um, Stephen Chilton. I'm the co-host of the Jesus Chat Line. We'd like to welcome everybody to the show tonight. Uh, we have a lot of calls lined up, and, and it's going to be, uh, continue to be a very interesting show. Uh, so we're going to go um, right to the calls right now. Welcome to the Jesus chat line. You're on the air. Hello? Yes. Go ahead. Who the fuck is this? Uh, this is, could you please watch the language? My name is Steven. Sorry, Steven. That's okay. All right. I have a question to ask you. Okay, go ahead. All right, all right. Well... First of all, I got a divulgent secret. I am a, I'm a, the mayor of Flint, Michigan. 
Okay. And uh, I got some problems on my hands. I was uh, chilling at the cut with some trill ass niggas, and this homegirl named Shaniqua tried hollering at me. So some trill ass niggas came up in this bitch and said, Yo, well, I was already hitting that shit. So I had to pull a nine and pop a gat in that bitch's ass. And uh, I just, I, I need Jesus really bad in my life at this point. And uh, I saw uh, guidance in the Neon Bible, and I figured I could get some advice from you guys. Um, okay, well, we will offer the advice, but I have to ask you to please stop you or saying N a couple times there. And I don't know if that is part of your language, but it is not part of the program here. Sorry about that. That's okay. Um, so we would like to um, say a prayer then. And, and please do. Uh, could you please repeat in some in English perhaps what what the issue is again? I uh, popped a cap in this uh, homegirl's butt, and uh, she is now in the ground, and I'm regretting my decisions very greatly, sir. Okay. Well. That is a very uh, serious issue. Um, I am now in hiding. Okay. And, you, and you're a mayor. Yes, I, I'm the mayor of Flint, Michigan. Okay, well, we would like to say a prayer for this, for this man. Um, dear Lord, um, may you... Consider to forgive past wrongdoings and deliver this man from any harm that may come to him. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope that works for you, caller. Now, I think the thing that you need to come to terms with with the Lord is the fact that you have committed a very serious crime. Um... Hello? Hello? Yes. I don't really see it as a crime. That's why I'm seeking Jesus to help me. I think killing someone is a, is a very big crime. How? Well, it says right in the Neon Bible, thou shall not kill. The only thing I know from the Neon Bible is thou shall not plow thy neighbor's wife. That is in there as well. That is one of the modern terms that's in there, yes. There are other commandments in there as well. That is one of them. Please list some other commandments. Um, well, we have something um, that, for example, involves texting in a movie theater. I'm not quite sure the exact wording right now. Um, a lot of them are very similar. It's just updated language. Um, you know, just to speak to a modern, more of a modern society. Well, uh, I had a question about, uh, I have uh, gay tendencies, and uh, I just uh, need to get on my knees with my homies and uh, pray the gay away, you know? I'm, I'm thinking this might be a joke. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to, I think that's... Okay, we're going to move on now. Um, I ap apologize to our viewers. We're going to have um, um, a little bit of rough talk every now and then. Um. Okay, let's try taking this call. Uh, go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Can, can you hear me? Hey Go ahead. Um, well, there's this thing going on at school involving black people. Uh, well, and it's getting pretty bad. Okay. And uh, it's, it's the same problem over and over again. And what seems to... What seems to be the problem? Uh, every time I go past a group of them, 
they're all like, hey, white, like, hey, vanilla snow, and all these other white insults. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to freak me out. They're making kind of like gay advances or something. Well, racism, unfortunately, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a fact of life these days, and I think you just need to do your best to ignore it and move on. Um, you can only control your own actions, so just you can only control your own actions. So don't say it to others, and if s others say it to you, j you just ignore it. Do you, can I ask you? Do a you think that we could uh, pray the gay away? Can I ask you a question first? Do you dye your tips? What? That do you dye your tips, like the tips of your hair? No. Okay. Uh, you mentioned a prayer. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, the prayer will go, um, dear Lord, may this man be immune to racism. Racism is wrong. May he not say racism. And if somebody says racism to him, even though he is white, may he take it. Amen. How's that, caller? Amen. Uh, is there one more thing I can say before I go? Sure, go ahead. Hang the nears! Okay. Um. Okay. Um, so, Richard and I, we've been... Uh, One second here. Richard and I, we've been sick, um, but we're gonna we're gonna fight through it, and uh, we're gonna go on with the show. We're gonna fight through any joke calls we get, and uh, and we're gonna have ourselves a good show. So we're gonna move on to this next call. Uh, go ahead, caller. Can you hear me? Hey, Stephen, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? That, that's great. I'm, I'm doing great. You know, I say I'm an artist in my leisure time. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe you and Richard can help me out with my rough times right now. Okay. Do you think that the Lord gives us passion to draw? Well, I think to some people he does. Certainly, we all have our talents. Some of them sing. Some of them draw. Well, you know, I ask because, you know, I've been doing art for the longest time, and I feel like the Lord is getting through me with divine visions. I started to draw our Lord Jesus, our great Savior, and all I get is Richard Burnish. It's, I feel like I've been drawn here by the Lord to, to be here for you. Mm -hmm. to be here to provide the beautiful images of our heart and imagination. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, well, there's a lot of uh, resemblance, actually, between Jesus and Richard. Um, they both have long hair and beards. Um, I, I have to say Richard might be a little bit more cut. <laughs> but that's no, he is, know. believe me. I, I've been working with drilling, and he has the most chiseled abs I have ever drawn. They're, they're, they're tight and muscled. They're gleaming. It is amazing. Richard, is, Richard has a very special relationship with the Lord. Um, I guess you could say he has a pipeline. To, could, could, oh, never mind. Okay, Richard has a pipeline, um, a direct pipeline to the Lord. And um, that might be why you're, shall we say, receiving this signal that is being channeled to you to draw draw those images yeah I, I, I was having a dream one night I was lying in bed I awake and the painted image of Richard Burnish leaps out of my picture he grabs my hand and he lathers me in the paint that is his body I feel like I am one not with Jesus but with Richard and I want to if, if Richard if you can contact Richard for me does he feel me inside of him? Um, Richard says no. 
Well, I, I mean, I'm feeling Richard all the time. I mean, it, it might have been uh, through act of coitus with the Lord. It, it may, I think I might be feeling Richard's package. I think this is a joke. No, it's not. I, no, no. Okay, um, I'd like to thank you. We're going to now um, take a short break, and then uh, we'll return. God made the earth. In the past, it was a simpler time. The things were good enough. But as I look out over this land, it makes me wonder, what would happen if it wasn't there? We are ruining the earth, is what happened. If we keep building things, there won't be room for the things we need. No room for the things we need. Earth has carried us, now it is time for us to carry the earth and help it too. Donate to the earth through us and return it to like pioneer times. Okay, welcome um, to the show. Um, that last video that we were rolling there um, was um, about returning um, returning things back to uh, pioneer times, to a more simpler time. I've told the story before, but I'll tell it again. Um, I'm an avid bird watcher, and uh, one day um, I saw a sparrow in the bird feeder, and... Um, a red-bellied woodpecker flew up and landed beside the sparrow and went to attack the sparrow. Um, there was enough room on the feeder for both of them, but the uh, woodpecker still attacked the other sparrow. And I think that just really goes to show the state that the world is in, doesn't it, Stephen? Like it shows that the earth is, is fighting back against, it's fighting with itself. And that just goes to show what that we've done this, and we need to bring it back. We need to stop building things and make room for the things we need. Like ducks, and ponds, marsh, and the rainforest. The things we need. Forest. We need forests too. These are all the things we need. So please donate to the earth through us. Anyway, hello caller, you're live uh, on the air. Okay, we'll try another one. Hello caller, you're live on the Jesus chat line of Montclair Public Access TV 3. Hello. Go Hello. ahead. Hello, my name is Ivan and I'm calling from Iceland. Okay, hello uh, to Stephen to... from uh, Iceland. That's that's great. Yeah, Ivan from Iceland. And I just wanted to start off by saying how, how much I dislike all these pranksters. Mm -hmm. Well, thank they you, are, yeah. They are just shameful. There's a lot. Unfortunately, the internet is a, is, is a dirty, is a filthy place. I mean, there's a lot of rough talk. Yeah, sure is. And and, and if any if so full of yeah, messages. If anyone needs Jesus and, 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 and if anyone needs, you know, the, 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 the power of God's light, it's 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 here right here on the internet. Wouldn't you agree? I know. It's uh, yeah. and people should learn to accept Jesus and start to mm -hmm. behave regularly. 
Yeah. But the problem I'm, I'm dealing with is it's in Iceland. It's, uh, I don't know where to turn. I've tried everything, but yeah. it's like since the, we had an economical crisis it's a couple of years ago and, and things are going real bad. And I just got thrown out of my apartment with two little kids. Oh dear. And I have no place to go. I've been living in a, in, in shelters and and everything is going really against me and I just don't know what to do. I I feel really badly. And I don't know where to turn. I've I've tried everything and I just need I I think I just need some divine intervention or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I you, you need to I mean, I've been I've been living I've been living, you know, with my children on, on the street for like for two years, and uh, I just had no idea where to turn. But uh, I've, I've tried everything, and I mean, I've, well. I just needed to call you to to get some to get some advice. I mean, I've I, I, there is no work. There is like thirty percent. Well, work, uh, people without work here. And everything, everything happens. I just, I just don't know, don't know what to do. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Hold it together. It's okay. I. I you sound sad. What do you think? What do you think I can do? How how can Jesus help me? Well, um, everything happens for a reason, and and I know life seems like it's being very hard right now, and living on the street homeless with your with your children is probably is something that would make make you very sad because you sound very sad he's calling it's a, it's on the phone lines yeah so my my advice would be to uh, would be to, tr to, to, to you know to baby steps you know I, I try and uh, try and get a job you know and, and try and get some work and, and, and start building it from the ground up. I mean, you mentioned you have two, two kids. You didn't mention how old they are, but perhaps they can, they can work. Yeah, my, the youngest one is four years old, and the older one is eight. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I can't even, I can't pay the school prices. Uh, well, I think just, maybe... You know, we've just been begging for money. Yeah, I think maybe pull, pulling them out of school would be, would be a good start. Removing them from school because, you know, what's what's what, what what you need now is cash. You know, you need cash. So my advice for you would be to remove your children from school, and and put them to work in some kind of a trade. I don't know what the laws are in Iceland, but you know, with desperate times call for desperate desperate action. So. I wish you much luck. Okay, this is the next part of the show. Um, we're going to take a quick break from the calls and do a segment that um, we like to call the uh, children's chat line. Um, now, for um, this is where um, we will go through some of the um, emails of the pictures that we have uh, received uh, that are emailed or, or mailed into us uh, for birthday shoutouts as well as drawings or songs or anything that our children make. So um, we're going to go over these um, just in a moment here while we get Chad to queue it up. And the first thing we'll do will be the uh, birthday shoutouts. Okay, so first up, we have uh, Rochelle. Where is she here? There we go. Rochelle is turning uh, 10 years old. Happy birthday, Rochelle. And on the back, she writes, um, her favorite color is purple. Well, happy birthday, Rochelle. Uh, next one here is we have a little Melanie who's uh, turning five years old. Happy birthday, Melanie. Uh, we have Jake here uh, who is turning seven years old, and he writes on the back of his picture uh, his favorite um, his favorite, his favorite food. Okay, my favorite food is pizza. <laughs> yeah, my, mine too. <laughs> uh, okay, happy birthday, uh, uh, Jake. Okay, and then we have Devin here, who uh, is turning uh, eight years old. Um, 
Devin, you didn't uh, write on the back, but if you know, for anyone who wants to write a little message on the back, um, you can you can do that. So uh, happy birthday, Devin! Rock and rock and roll. <laughs> okay, um, then we have uh, Darnell, who's turning 12 years old, and he writes on the back um, that his favorite sport is basketball. Well, that seems about right. Happy birthday, Darnell. Then we have Emily, uh, who is turning uh, 13 years old. Um, she didn't write nothing, but uh, happy birthday to Emily. Um, then we have a group shot here, a group group shot. Um, I didn't get, Chad, do we have notes on this one? I think it's a church group, is it? Oh, okay, we're not too sure, but we have the names here. So um, we got um, a congratulations going out to Jacob, um, Michelle, uh, Mich Mich Michael, Michael, and um, Candice. Uh, congratulations. I'm not sure what you guys did, but uh, <laughs> congrats. Okay. Um, the next one here, we have um, just a picture sent in uh, from the Dorian Bible Club. And uh, thank you for, for your picture here. This is uh, Tanner and uh, Cheryl. Looks like fun, guys. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, then we have Liana here, who uh, is turning 15 years old. And uh, she writes on the back that uh, in times of trouble, I th she writes, I think of God, uh, my thoughts, my feelings, and others. Okay, so she writes G. So she writes, G-T-F-O, uh, my God, my thoughts, my feelings, and others. G-T-F-O, that's a good thing to remember, uh, Leanne. Good one. Okay, uh, after that, uh, we have Kara here, who is turning uh, five. Happy birthday. Oh, we have a group shot coming in from Forest Hills uh, Baptist Church. Hey, guys, thank you for your submission. Okay, and then we have uh, Devin here, um, who, uh, okay, Devin, it's his birthday, but he forgot to write his age. Um, so, uh, Devin, next, next time, make sure to write how old you're turning, but happy birthday. And here we have, um, what's the name on this one, Chad? Lori, who is uh, turning 14. Happy birthday, Lori. Oh, then we have Wade here at the farm with his uh, family, and yeah, yeah, okay. And um, we have a Niagara Falls visit here by the Loreski family. That's very neat. And last, we have, oh, okay. All right, and that, um, that concludes the birthday shout-outs for the, the Jesus chat line here. Um, next, we'll quickly go through some of the drawings. Um, we have Douglas and Kenny here. Uh, these guys uh, sent in a photograph of their drawings. Great, great job, guys. So you can see the cross on that one. And this one comes from Sarah. And this is, uh, I guess, is her family. And this here is a drawing of um, Denzel's, f uh, Denzel's family here. And we see dad, oh dear, um, mom, yeah, and okay. Okay, and we have here um, another um, drawing. Um, and we got another one here. Okay, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a break, and we'll we'll be we'll be right back with with some calls. And welcome back to the program. Um, <clears throat> my name is uh, Stephen Chilton, and uh, okay, I'm on some uh, um, medication right now. It's some for when you're sick. Uh, so I'm a little foggy headed, but I'm gonna keep on going here. And we're going to take an, a call. 
Uh, go ahead and welcome to the Jesus chat line. Um, hello, this is Alicia speaking. Yes, go ahead. And um, let's see, I'm, I'm 15 years old and I'm from Europe. Mm -hmm. And I have a question because I'm very devoted to my religion. I'm, I'm uh, very uh, truthful Christian. I'm sorry, English is not my native. So I might sound a little weird with my English. But um, I have a question. I see these these um, shows on, on MTV about 16-year-old and pregnant and you know even though I'm only 15 I I'm so devoted to my faith I don't wanna give up my virginity for marriage so I hope you would pray for me so I can get pregnant without having to give up my abstinence um, that is just simply not possible but but Holy Mary could that do that as well with Jesus right yes but you realize that that was a special case right like not so, I, so I'm not special. Oh, of course you are, but that was a one-time occurrence. Oh, so, so I I'll have to wait for marriage then. I'm afraid yes, you'll have to wait wait for marriage yes. Okay, well, okay, I'm 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 a little. I hope that you and Richard could pray for me because I'm a longtime fan and. I'm, I'm, I'm a little shocked. I, I did not know that it would only happen once. Yes, well, um, thank you for calling. I guess we, um, we learn something new on this program every time. Um, go ahead. You are on the air, caller. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing okay. How are you? So I just wait or... You go right ahead, caller. Uh, how's it going? I'm doing well. Who am I speaking to? This is Steven. Oh, how's it going, Steven? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, I've been having some issues, you know. Okay. Uh, I'm just so scared, man. What are the issues? Well, there's some black guys. Welcome to the Jesus chat line. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, caller. Oh, hey. Um... First off, I'd like to say I really like the chair you're sitting in, and I'm a fan of the show. I've always been a huge fan. I'd also like to apologize for all the nonsense that's been going on tonight. It really is hurtful to someone who watches the show as much as I do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, we're, yes, we, um, we expect that. <clears throat> we expect it. I've been having a lot of problems recently. Okay. With my wife, and uh, basically... What happened was uh, uh, my girlfriend, uh, she, she, spilled, she spilled one of my drinks, and I got extremely angry, and I beat her. And I just, I, I feel guilty bad about it. And what? What was that? I feel, I feel really bad about it. I, oh. I feel like there's demons inside of me that are making me do these things. I'm going to say that what you did was um, incredibly wrong. Um, you should never use physical violence against anyone. And what I remind you, um, what I've said on this program before, is that often sending a message is all, all you need to do, and that is uh, a simple shoulder stretch. Um, all you need to do is, here, I'll demonstrate it. Now, doing that will usually send the proper message, and you can avoid a um, violent confrontation. And I hope that that helped. We're going to move on. 
Welcome to the show, caller. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Go ahead, caller. Hey, how you doing? Air. I'm doing good. How are you? Doing great. Uh, let me just lower the volume real quick. Okay. Hey, doing? My name is Renly. I was over at the uh, Thursday's fundraiser. Yes. And uh, sorry, it's kind of hard. I hear it kind of echoing back. Oh, okay. Uh, was this the uh, Temple of Syrinx bake sale? Oh, definitely. I brought the uh, brownies. Oh, okay. Yes. So I'm actually a farmer. I run the uh, one of the corn plantations. Mm hmm And uh, we've actually had a problem with some coons coming in and stealing the corn. I was wondering if there's anything I can do to pray to get these beasts out of my fields. prayer okay i'm just yeah i've almost got one now um have you tried first of all um they have humane tra traps these days that you can i heard about me, them i crunched myself um <laughs> they have humane traps you can buy for coons but is it legal to trap people with them get me the prayer chad I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit confused. I don't know what, like, you, a raccoon and a human. <laughs> yeah, I got them, them coons coming in to steal my, my goddamn corn, you know? One of them was wearing FUBU jeans. The man's asking you for help. I know, the man wants help. I'm sorry, my producer, uh, Chad, just, he told me a joke off air. It was, oh, that's what, all right. what is a chicken's favorite movie star? What is that? Lindsay Lohan. Oh, I get it. Yep. Okay, so carry on. Well, they come in, you know, I got, I don't want to say how much, how much corn I have, but I've got a decent amount, and they're, and they're just stealing it. Mm hmm Well, rem remember... <laughs> I, the thing to remember is that animals get hungry. Animals, they can't go to a grocery store like you or I. Animals cannot go to the I mean, I see them sometimes when I go down to a stop and shop. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, no, but we can go to 7-Eleven or we can go to Basha's or what have you. But an animal, they have to fend for themselves. So if there's a whole um, field of corn... Of course a coon is going to come after some of it. I think we should kind of uh, keep them separated, you know? Okay. What's your suggestion? Well, we should take all the, all, you know, all the normal people, you know, and just put a fence around them so, you know, the coons can't get in. Well, a fence might very well work for the coons um, until they learn to climb. And hmm. uh, I think that coons are often good at climbing. So it's going to be a very tall fence. You know, some of them are pretty tall themselves. <laughs> pretty good at sports, I guess. You know, uh, coon sports. Ah. Uh. I wish to apologize. Um, I was informed by the lat. We've 
traced that last call, and that was indeed the same um, jokester who's been calling us um, for quite some time. I, uh, I, I, I really do wish to apologize. And I want to inform everybody here that Richard and I are, pre are prepared to handle anything that you people can throw at us. And I mean anything. You will not rumble our feathers. And anybody who wants to mess with us and call in with this garbage, then we will shut it down. As the kids say these days, you can just GTO. Okay? Because we're here, we're taking care of business. Now we're going to try... We're going to try another call. And anybody who Go wants ahead, to caller. mess with us and call in with this garbage, welcome to the show, then we will shut it down. Hello? As the kids say these days, you can just GTO. Please turn Hello? down your television okay? set. Okay, because we're here. We're taking care of business. Hello? You're live on the air. Go ahead. Um, I've been having some problems with my son. Um, I, I need to make a confession. Okay. Um, it, he, I found out recently he was, he's gay, and uh, I've done something very bad. Okay. What is that? Um, I've, I've killed him and buried him in the basement. This can't be real. This has got to be another, another prank. I'm serious. I, I need your guidance. Stephen, I need your guidance on this. And welcome to the Jesus chat line. Go ahead. Um, hello? Um, you're going to have to speak up just a little bit. Caller? Um... Hello? Okay, we're going to try another one. Welcome to the Jesus chat line. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, you're on the air. Go ahead. I am. Uh, I'm ringing to um, talk about the Neon Bible. Okay. And um, but the problems that I feel I need addressing. Nigga, 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 nigga. Uh, welcome to the program. Hello? Hello, is this Stephen Chilton? Uh, yes, go ahead, caller. Hi, Stephen. This is Nick McIntosh of the Rocknet Corporation. We've received reports from your broadcast. Okay. Um, no, we're here to check and make sure is everything okay with your connection? Uh, the connection is fine, but um, can you do anything? We're going we're to say that um, if we get more reports, we're going to have to shut um, down your Rocknet account. We, we, can't, we can't take this anymore. You have a producer, and it, you need to make sure that they're checking their Rocknet IP. Uh, make, get, we need to get the geo ID. We need to call us at our support line. And if you have any more problems, please get back to us. Okay. Um, Rocknet? More like Cocknet. <laughs> you know, like a chicken. Okay, well, we're going to take a short break, and then uh, we will return with more Jesus chat line. Okay, we're just going to take this call here. Uh, hello, um, you're live. 
on the Jesus chat line on Montclair Public Access TV3. Hello, Richard Burnish. Hold on, let's just turn up the levels there. Hello, yeah, you're you're on with Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. That's right. Herr Burnish, do you hear me? <coughs> yeah, you're coming across okay. very, very clear. I hear you very okay. well, Color. What yeah. seems to be... Uh, this, yeah, this, this is Hans-Peter Schwanzlutscher, formerly employed at the media department of the Vatican under direct order of Pope Benedict the 16th. Herr Burnish, as you know, I was working for the Catholic Church, but your gospel about the Neon Bible opened my eyes. Seems like, should, should I be using torrents? Should I update Firefox? So I just had to quit my job. I, I just couldn't do it anymore. There's one terrible incident you don't even know about yet. So uh, I was at the Pope's computer and I saw that he had installed the real media player. And he complained that all it says is buffering. So the first thing I wanted to do... Okay. Oh, I, yeah, okay. So... The first thing I wanted to do is remove the software agent Bonsi Buddy. You know, the purple gorilla really rustled my jimmies. But the Pope was like, nein, don't remove him. That gorilla is too cute. Just fix real media player. See, I couldn't understand the Pope's love for this virtual animal. I mean, I had always thought monkeys don't go to heaven. And I couldn't stand its face. It reminded me of a certain serial called Gorilla Munch. Anyways, um, I'm over with the Pope and the Catholic Church. You, Herr Burnish, have kept your promise. I mean, you have promised to rid the internet of filth. You'd, I mean, so the Pope was using bon Bonsai Buddy uh, as a yes, media player? Yes, exactly. The, the, the software agent Bonsai Buddy, it is a purple gorilla. Which comes with real media player. But real media player only said buffering. And that was just too much for me. I just had to quit it. I mean, first the Pope uses Internet Explorer, yeah. and he doesn't know about the Christ plug, and then he uses Bonsi Buddy. <laughs> I just don't know, Richard. So, anyways, I mean, you have bonus, you have kept your promise. I mean, you promised to rid the Internet of filth, and I had always thought that this was an utopia. But once you have told me about the Christ plug for Firefox, it was like a dream come true, and I almost had to cry. But then I've told myself, shh. No tears, only dreams now. Wow. There's been a lot of information in the, in the last little bit. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, it really rid the internet of filth. I mean, I used to have this GIF animation of a dancing devil on my MySpace profile, but now it's finally gone. Thank you, Richard Burnish. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what, caller? Bon, bon, first off, apes, monkeys, or apes, they don't go to heaven. That's just that's that's simple as as, as the day is long. I'm getting clear to, to be to be using bonsai, buddy. <laughs> you don't use that. Yeah, you don't exactly. Don't use bonsai, buddy. You don't you don't use that. That's not that's not what it because everyone knows that is not like the funding. Okay, so I get a little bit excited there. No, please just go ahead, Richard. We, uh, you know what, the Neon Bible answers a lot of these questions. You know, there's a lot of people out there, and I'm really surprised and disappointed in the Pope. Everyone, everyone, yeah. at least in the Christian community that I know, is aware of using Christ Plug as exactly. an add-on for their Firefox to filter the, you know, the <coughs> religious content in, in, in relevance to what you're searching for. And everyone knows that you should be using... Um, What's the video? What's the music? What's the media player that we use for our for our files, Stephen? WM <coughs> Windows Media Player. Yeah. The Windows Media Player. You don't. The, it, it, you don't need because again, you know. I'm just I'm just deeply upset by all of this. Yeah, and I, I really agree with you, Richard. And I mean, this is why I quit the job at the Vatican. So was the was the entire Vatican using bonsai buddy? Or yes, they the were all excited about it. The bonsai buddy just kept on saying GTO and N. I don't even know what it means. So they're all excited about using bonsai buddy. Yes, that's really disappointing. 
Yes, and that is why I just had to quit well, this job, them, Richard. You, you I mean, them? I simply escaped. Did I you, escaped from the Vatican. Did you tell them that they should maybe be using the one that came with, the safest one, the one that came with the computer, the one, Windows Media Player? Did you tell them that maybe they should be using as their, because you were doing their technical support, did you tell them that maybe they shouldn't be using Bonsai Body, that they should be maybe worried about the cookies? Yes, yes, I know, but they wouldn't listen. I mean, they were like, look at this purple gorilla. It is so cute. It is so cute. And then I just had to leave it all behind. I had to escape. And I mean, as you know, I was behind Vati Leaks, where I uploaded secret documents of the Vatican to my GeoCities page. Yeah, I no, I, I I can't believe that. I, well, you've taken the right step. I mean, in our religion, we 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 don't recognize the Pope. We that is good. We don't recognize him at all, no. or because you know what? Because we've heard, we didn't know firsthand, but we've heard some of this. We've heard some of these things. We've heard <laughs> that the tor, you know, the, you know that that they were that we've actually heard that they are using torrents down there. And, yeah. and they've been using, there's certain types of files that are used to, in the black market to exchange file types, uh, to share with each other, like RAR. RAR yeah, is, yeah, the, the, the RAR Pope isn't, even isn't had Napster and Kazaa installed on his computer. I mean, Napster and Kazaa, yeah. can you believe it? Yeah, well, exactly. Or, or like, if, you're, if you see, like, a file, Stephen, that says RAR, that's been, that's been pirated. No, that's not. Like, R-A-R -R means it's stolen. You wouldn't download a car, so why would you download that? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you wouldn't steal a baby. No, but why would you steal a film? Or steal... I, I can't believe yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. So this is Everyone why I just had to quit it, zip. and I had to escape. You have to zip. Zip is the office friendly, and it's, you're not going to... Like, I'm just disappointed by all of this. Yeah, so so listen to me, Richard. So the Swiss guard was on to me. He knew that I was uploading secret documents of the Vatican to my GeoCities page. So I wanted to save the last document and then escape. But the 500 kilobyte big BMP file of the Pope wearing a lingerie, what's it called, like woman's undies, was too big to attach to my AOL email. So I had to print it out on my dot matrix printer. And now I'm on the run, Richard. I am in deep trouble, Richard. Do you still have the BMP? Yeah, well, I printed it out on my dot matrix printer. How was the quality? It is um, in gray scale. Unacceptable. Yeah, so if, if you so could, if you could scan or fax us a copy of this this image, that would be greatly like we could definitely if you could somehow salvage the image. Maybe yeah. maybe we could maybe we could use this for something. Yeah, well, I think this image is the only thing that is still keeping me alive. I mean, the, the Swiss guard he was onto me, and uh, this is the main reason why I'm calling Richard. So, Richard, I mean, I I had to I had to kill him, Richard. I mean, I I, I put him my clothes on, and then I burned his face and faked my own death. I I, I just don't, don't know what to do anymore, Richard. <sighs> Well, I think you should. I I think you should come come to the United States. Come here. Okay. Okay. I I hope this is this is okay. I mean, <laughs> you could move, probably move already hear my healthy condition. I think I I got the Freddie Mercury disease. Mercury, I hope it's okay to come with the Freddie Mercury, Mercury disease in the USA. You have mercury poisoning. No, I, I think I've got AIDS, but I support something called good AIDS, which is something innocent. You know, like if you get it through a, through a blood transfusion or through a syringe. So this is good AIDS, not bad AIDS, which is the, the, what homosexuals get. And I think I, I got it when I got his blood into my mouth when I killed the Swiss guard. Is it like, uh, it's a lot, is it like good and bad cholesterol, kind of like that? Yes, exactly, exactly. I mean, okay. good, good AIDS is something innocent you, okay. you aren't responsible for. That's not the one that makes your immune system go go away. It's not that one. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a, a religious person. So I wouldn't know, Richard. This is why I'm asking you. You need to come here. You need you need to come. You need to come to Oakland. Okay, I will do this, Richard. I I what do you, Stephen? Let's fly him down here. 
He needs our help. <coughs> okay. Well, it's decided then. Well, well, well. Let's. Can you hold hold on the line, caller? One second, and let's hold on. Okay, caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, so how about you come to North America and you come to the United States and we could offer you security and safety? Yes, please, I would like this. <laughs> because we, we like, I, we are concerned. <laughs> this is so great of you to do, Richard. Thanks so much. I don't even know how to express my feelings in words. Do you have, do you have enough, do you have enough uh, cash money? Well, I, I still have my kidney, which I could sell. I mean, kidneys are rare in Europe, and there are a lot of people who want guts. Okay, so well, I could no, sell we, this. We, okay, well, we will. Okay, don't don't do that. We will, uh, Stephen. Let's let's get a donation going. Let's get an event going where we can raise money to, to have. Sorry, caller. What was your name again? Peter. Hans Peter Schwanzlutscher. Okay, Hans. Then let's let's get him down here, Stephen. Yeah, I, I think this is gonna be real, and this is also gonna be fun. I agree. Uh, this feels good from my head to my fingers. Like I think this is gonna be a good thing. Well, let's sort out. Let's sort out the. the let's, let's get the event going. We'll send it out on our Facebook, and we'll we'll have a bake sale. We'll do this. This is just great. I mean, this doesn't rumble any feathers of mine. Okay, all right. Well, let's let's do this. Okay, caller. Uh, Sa thank you very much, Richard. You let's saved me. Okay, let's. We've Stephen. We've got this. Let's get his. Then we could use him for getting it. Okay, well, um, thank you to everybody for tuning in uh, to the show, um, and, and I think you've heard it. Uh, we're asking that everyone donates. We'll be setting up a charity uh, to raise money to have Hans um, shipped to America to save him per from persecution. I think this is a good cause as any. So we'll be having a, a sale and, and a fundraiser. We'll, we'll, we'll advertise this, um, the information of, of, of where it's going to be and when on our Facebook. So um, there it is there. So everyone add us to Facebook. And let's, we need to save him, Stephen. We do. Great. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, we have a couple seconds left for uh, maybe one or two more calls. Okay. And hello, you're live on the Jesus chat line. Oh, how's it going, Richard? It's going very well. How are you doing today? I like to give a shout out to my niggas at Harlow. You know what I'm saying? Okay, dog. that is enough. <laughs> That is enough of this. You could suck a wet fart out of your grandma's ass and hold it in like a bong hit. <laughs>